All right, so uh, hey guys, um, as we come into Wednesday here, uh, we're going to do a video on uh, scanning for trades. Um, a real quick, down and dirty way to scan for trades. Um, but what I want to do to do that is I want to zoom out, out a uh, perspective. And we're going to go through all of them real fast. Alright, we're going to come out a fractal just to set us out, out of whack on purpose. And we're going to find um, some developing traits that we didn't even realize were, 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 were on the go. So I'm just uh, flicking the, uh, the 30 minute here on all of them so I don't have to. Alright, there we go. Euro, pound, okay, everything's done. I'll bring them over in a sec. So we'll go back to this area of time. Same deal as always, nothing changes. We only see it to there. What do we see? Pound index collectively is up. Back here, what do we see? Pound up against the CAD. Okay, that would be uh, imply uh, it's uh, some truth to that. Um, and there's also some truth to that with the dollar as the pound index collectively is up. We would expect the pound dollar to be up. Excellent. Let's move on. Same area of time, nothing changes. Do want to make sure that's same same size though. It's here. So up, great. Okay. Up, perfect. Pound Swiss is down. Well, that will most likely want to come back up there, even though the Swiss is strong. Because we're, even though it has gone back there, we're still witnessing this same phenomenon to our eyes right here. So, as I said, th so this, you know, when this pound. When, when this level gets taken out, uh, it's not necessarily going to be on pound strength. Uh, it's going to be on Swiss weakness. Okay, but pound has got some juice to the upside. Against the Swiss. It doesn't mean it can't fall against the New Zealand, okay, or the dollar. Or the CAD. I'm not quoting those. Uh, next. And Euro Pound has, has fallen. Well, that's expected, obviously. Because Euro has come down against the pound. We're expecting a pound uh, uh, strength here. And that's what we're seeing. So that's good. From a 30 minute perspective, it's not changing anything from the video earlier on the 15 minute perspective. Right, and then pound it, it's up. So that's that. We don't have any trades there on the 30 minute uh, pound perspective apart from uh, possibly the Swiss. But because they're so. You know, with the double hedge perspective, it's it's hardly worth doing. But yeah, the Swiss has got more room down than pound, so it's most likely going to work. But I just wouldn't do it because, you know, where the hell do you put your stop, right? The move, you know, it's it's not really, there's no 
there's no juice in this move. It's, it's no, we're tra we'd be trading the wrong, um, uh, the wrong affair. Uh, really, if we were to, the, the, the game is not in the pound Swiss here, right? From here, yeah, sure, it was. If we if we witnessed it back here, yeah. So now let's move on, and we'll have to go to the next uh, currency. Uh, we started on the pound for no particular reason, but let's just go with the Aussie. Right, same deal here. Aussie index zoomed out. Same error of time. What do we see? Aussie is a uh, an even affair. Okay, so we'd be expecting an even trade with everything uh, relative. So we'll we'll go ahead and we'll look for an even trade back to this level of time. Well, that there's something happened there. Aussie CAD is down. Uh, well, that that can go up. Right, um, Aussie yen is up. Well, hang on, that's really good for us guys because let me move this up. This is excellent news here, guys. We are looking for a collapse of the yens with with how this story is unfolding, developing with with everything we've spoken about from the Swiss yen now to the pound yen. Well, we now have an excuse to trade the Aussie yen down. Um, I'm so into this now, this trade, just by looking at it. I am so tempted just to press the button a thousand times. But what we have to do is we have to verify we're double hedging this truly. So we will be entering this, but we have to do it correctly. So we get a pen now and a piece of paper and we'll write down, we can come back to this later, Aussie Yen JPY, um, look at double hedge, okay now that note is written down I won't forget it I need some more ink cartridges for my fountain pen um, but it's hard to get them nowadays I ran most of them out uh, uh, splashing the uh, back of the teachers uh, uh, white white blouse back in school uh, so I don't have a lot of ink left uh, when that happens, I'm not going to know what to do. Uh, so, this is where we want to come to. So, we, you know, this, uh, and it conveniently lines up with, with an old um, moving average uh, area here. So, you know, who knows, somewhere over there, that's what we're looking at. Um let's move over here and we will check the rest of them let's not forget to flick those to 30 minutes why is this all out of whack today this thing all right um better bottom one's Aussie New Zealand Aussie Swiss in the middle and Aussie dollar on the top okay well we know we have a sideways Aussie trade so the Aussie dollar being up uh, that might want to drop back into here a little bit Uh, oh, that's a 15 minute. We, sorry, scrap that. Scrap that. Scrap what well, everything I just said. Uh, in regards to the uh, Aussie dollar. All right. 
So here, 30 minutes, I made that error. And I knew I would. Okay. So, I mean, you, you see right there, it's an even trade. It's not worth trading, okay? 30 minutes, right? That's what we're expecting. Collectively, the Aussie is even. Here, we've got an Aussie Swiss down, okay? But there's not much juice in it, right? We've already got this other deal figured out for the Aussie yen on the 15 minutes, so we'll carry on with that. Uh, we're, I suppose we're expecting it to come back here. Uh, and then the Aussie New Zealand is looks pretty even too, so there's no trade there. The only one written down so far, guys, uh, in the Aussie will be the Aussie Yen. minute let's do that right away all right so we look at these backwards because it's euro starting and pound starting pound being the guy on the top we've got a uh, pound you know it's it's up against the area uh, well we're already in cells so that's perfect uh, there's this much room in it on 30 minute perspective. Uh, in the case of the uh, Euro Aussie, well, Euro Aussie, there is no money in that either. So that's that. Um, let's move over now to the next one, which will be the um, CAD. All right, CAD Collective 30 minute here, uh, back to here. What do we see? CAD is up a little bit, okay. CAD Swiss is down a little, little bit. So again, a bit more juice up there, but giving more, um, uh, an extra fish to the bowl in our, our yen uh, perspective. Of, uh, sorry, our Swiss perspective of upcoming Swiss weakness. Uh, we have a CAD that's up against the yen massively here, while the CAD index collectively is only up a little bit, which would imply that we have indeed come a little bit too far. Um, so we will be writing in our CAD target there for later. Uh, and we get the pen out and we'll write that in as well. CAD yen. All right. Uh, that's that's good. We'll go over here. What do we see here? We see Aussie is lower than the CAD. Uh, while CAD collective, oh sorry, let me move this down. Uh, we here, this is the Aussie CAD top left here. Uh, we see uh, Aussie is down against the CAD, while the uh, the CAD collective is up a little bit. Well, that equals uh, you know a fair balanced deal. So we wouldn't be looking at that any any longer. Um, the same goes for the um, New Zealand here. You know, it's pretty much balanced. There's no point in trading that. And then, uh, I mean, it may be on a daily. Who knows if some of you guys have figured something out on a weekly. Great that I haven't looked at, but I, I'm not looking at that, that at the moment. Obviously, we're just working these time frames we're talking about. Um, but in this perspective, of this amount of time, I am willing to sit through which is, you know, day trading, that's what we're here to do. Um, ideally being paid weekly. Uh, what we want to be doing is working in this time frame, 15 slash 30, you know. Um, 
what have we got here? Uh, I mean, dollar cad is at even, so that's cool, right? Um, there's no point in even looking at this any further. Next. Uh, let me move this down. This is pound cad and uh, euro cad. Oh, we have to, sorry, I messed up. The pound is a little bit above the CAD. We go back and we look, uh, we view the CAD index again here. Let's bring that over while we're doing this. Um, ooh, it's up a little bit, so pound CAD being up just a little bit here. It's got some room down. Uh, it's not really worth trading though um, from this perspective. And the euro being down, uh, well that that's good because uh, the, the CAD is, is, is up against the uh, collectively so that makes sense that part. Right well next we've got CAD yen written down Aussie yen written down. Let's move on to the next uh, index. One second. All right, Swiss index here again. I know we looked at this a thousand times, but we're doing it this way. So, and it's the most un overlooked currency. So, um, we, uh, we 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 don't want to be part of that club overlooking the Swiss. Uh, what do we see here? We see Swiss is excessively high. We see here Swiss here back to this level it, you know it's high uh, but you know the collective Swiss does agree with this so there is no trade there from a 30 minute perspective there's no trade because the Swiss is strong um, CAD Swiss CAD is down against the Swiss well that's that's excellent that's what's supposed to happen great let's move on Um, let's not forget, okay, let's bring this Swiss back here so we don't forget what we're doing. Uh, dollar would be down against the Swiss, well that makes sense because the Swiss collective is up, that's great. Next. New Zealand down against the Swiss, well that's the same type of deal, I'm happy with that too. Um, Oh, and then this one here, this is the Aussie, same area of time. Okay, the Aussie is down against the Swiss, that would make sense too on this 30 minute perspective. Okay, let's bring the Swiss back here again. Don't get sidetracked. All right, pound at the top, euro in the middle, Swiss index on the bottom. Pound being below the Swiss would make sense. And euro being below the, below the, uh, the area would make sense also. Uh, so we're happy with that. Let's move on. back here before I forget. All right. The next one we're going to need to go to. Uh, we've done the CAD, we've done the Swiss now. Uh, you know, we've got to do the Euro obviously on a 30 minute. We've done a detailed 15 minute earlier, but let's do a 30 minute. Let's go ahead one second. 
All right, we're at the uh, Euro here. 30 minute again. I know this is tedious, but when you find it, it's beautiful. So our collective Euro index from that amount of time is here. It's, it's balanced. Um, to really, truly balance this, however, but that's speculation, so I'm not going to, you know, not going to bother. But, but, you know, it could someday go like that, and then at some point, but we're not going to make that into a bias, I think. It's like something like that, and then down. But we're not speculating. We don't need to anymore. Remember that. If we're speculating, we're guessing. All right. Uh, the Euro Swiss, well, that's down a bit too much, isn't it? Uh, okay, great. So that actually does indeed mean we can raise our target. How it, it was a 15 minute target, though, but I'd be happy to maybe put one of them up there on the 30 minute and we can expand our, our target. How, how about that? Let's, let's go ahead and do that. I mean, we're in it anyway, so we might as well make the most of it. Let's target the 30 minute. Don't get too greedy though with that. We definitely know it's that area of time. It's definitely that area of time. Euro is above that area. That does give us a push into there. We know that Swiss is strong, so we don't want to be too greedy with it and, and expect higher moves. However, we do know that Swiss has got more room down against the LFX, so against the yen. So. That may give us a bit of juice just into here. But again, I'm not going to speculate. However, we do have a level there from earlier that may need need, need to be played with. Um, so now, does that negate the Euro um, Yen short? Uh, with all this upcoming Euro Swiss strength? No, because it's just against the Swiss and the pound. I haven't spoken about, or, or we haven't witnessed yet any other possibility of a Euro up move against anything else significant uh, apart from the pound and the, the Swiss. So with this in mind, it's telling us that Euro wants to be balanced slash a little bit up. So if we put our, uh, our Euro Yen line on there from that era of time, uh, it's telling us that Euro Yen is a little bit excessive uh, relative to where the Euro index collectively is currently from what we've been observing. So on that note I'm 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 going to put my target right down there and this but, but this guys is not a load up and oh, on this again this is a, a a gauge trade is what we'll call it from our original uh, plan with a bit more uh, um juice on it now because we have another reason for it to come down here um, but I'm not going to write the euro down the euro yen uh, down although I want to maybe we could put it as a in orange or something let's put the target down oops sorry I messed it up I pressed the wrong button oh it's good uh, target we'll put it in orange this way it's not a not a really let's get married to this thing deal all right somewhere over there I'm I, I guess uh, but again I'm not going in crazy on that that's not my bet um, Next, Euro uh, currencies, uh, Euro Aussie, 
Let's bring the euro index back here so we don't forget what we're doing. Uh, Euro New Zealand is above the level, that's okay. And the um, Euro um, Aussie is uh, above the level, and that's that's okay too. Uh, let's move these guys over and do the other ones. Uh, okay, we are Euro pound. Uh, let's bring the index over. Hang on, let's get it all lined up right. All right, no shortcuts here. Your index this a little bit up. Great, let's put the line on. Okay, Euro dollar is weak. Well, that may have a little bit more room up there uh, to go. Um, so we, our, our, top, our stop being up there uh, is, is okay. And don't forget this, we've taken 90% of our trades off of here. We're not too concerned about this position. If the Euro Swiss and all that go up and, and that gives some lift to the Euro here, and it comes and takes our stop uh, right there, okay, in that spot where our stop is. Uh, it's like, do we put our stop there, or do we put it here, or do we put it break even? Because the, we probably know that we're going to get stopped out, but we don't care because our Euro Swiss is going to pay us. But we're going to keep this as trying to hold that longer term. Uh, deal um, so we're going to keep the stop way out and we don't care if it goes okay we're not looking for uh, medals here so the euro pound being below the level is also telling us a story here um, which is great because we are 15 minute uh, told us this too we've got a high target there that we've obviously taken from 15 minute detail uh, but just on the 15 the 30 minute perspective our target would be here o on that note I'm going to add another one to this um, and we'll put the target in the middle Oh my god. All right, whatever. I'll deal with that later. Okay. Do want to go on the higher side of that though with with given the fact that the pound is is stronger than the uh the euro relative to the yen so it's got more room down than the euro does right if we go back to those yens and we add up the distance from the pound, you know what let's do it right now just for the hell of it um we're not even gonna we'll just add up the numbers here Euro yen, where is it gone? Hang on, before we do that real quick, so look. Um, dollar is below the level, maybe up a little bit. Euro here is below the level, should be up a little bit, great. Um, and then this one here, Euro CAD is below the level, while Euro index is slightly above the level. Suggesting maybe a little bit of lift here too. 
in the EuroCAD at some point. It doesn't have to be now. You know, when we see this, like I say, we we write this down and we go to the double hedge to try to find the uh, the entry. We don't just jump in here because we may come. You know, this can we could have missed something from another time frame here and it needs to come back here so we need that double hedge to enter um, okay so what I just said quickly was let's do the add up the numbers of the euro yen down to the level relative to the numbers on the euro pound uh, uh, the pound yen and what you're going to see um, is a considerable uh, difference in numbers. So we're going to quickly open up a pound yen chart. put on that same area of time there uh, 30 minute back here somewhere okay and the euro yen is here so we add up the numbers and the pound yen is going to have more room down in terms of pips this is what I'm trying to say here for any of you that still haven't figured this part out yet 5356 we'll go with that six one eight four so more room down which would equal a euro pound uh, spread there you know higher higher euro pound so I'm I, I'm sure that uh, you guys are getting this by now if you've watched the last 200 videos you'll be up to speed with everything if you haven't please go back and watch them um, so that's that really let's move on to the next currency one second oh a quick reminder here guys uh, we're coming into May the 19th so there may be a pulse event uh, somewhere same like when uh, same like that happened with many places in the world had a pulse event in uh, April uh, uh, slash March um, with the with the weather events uh, everyone went mad and started buying everything from the grocery store um, that may happen again May the 19th through May the f uh, 25th um, we're still waiting for the removal of Biden. Uh, this is likely to happen shortly. Um, and I'm not going to bother giving all that psyop any more energy, but I think you guys know where we're going. Uh, another pulse event in July, then the fake cyber attack in September. Um, make certain you have cash. Uh, under your bed for that event as the two weeks will only will not be accepting credit card uh, the SWIFT system will be kaput uh, but it it's all fake of course none of it's real so uh, New Zealand is uh, where are we here if we've got the, the dates right of that but I think we do seem to be going ahead on schedule is what's looking like uh, so the New Zealand uh, here is at balance the New Zealand CAD here is at balance the um, or a little below the uh, New Zealand dollar here is a little below you know, so there's not really much to talk about there. And 
very sorry for how long this video is lasting, but it's the only way to do it, guys. If you want to get paid, you have to do the work. Uh, the New Zealand index is at balance, remember? Okay, not really much to say there. So we'd be expecting to see the same deal here. Uh, well, pound is a bit above the level. Okay, that, so we've got cells here, that's perfect. Uh, that would be our, you know, target from a 30-minute uh, pound perspective let's put that target in we didn't we don't really have a target there so let's do that how i originally got into that was um on the 15 minute yesterday i kind of think we spoke a bit about that in a video but but really it's the overall deal between the pound and the and the new zealand Uh, and that's the wrap there. You can see it really. Not much else to say there. Uh, let's move the other ones. Okay. 30 minutes. You know, and don't be shy, folks. If you're on that fractal of time, 15 minutes, don't be shy to come out once in a while. Just have a little look from outside of the box. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? New Zealand appears to be a little bit, a little bit too strong. And uh, New Zealand Swiss, well, that's 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 all right with a little bit of upside. So uh, again, it's helping us here with our. Uh, new developing um, collective yen uh, capitulation that we don't want to speculate on. Um, we don't want to sell this New Zealand yen though under any circumstances. We're not doing that. Even if it comes down here, we don't care. We're not taking this trade. We don't want to. Right, if you think about it from a double hedge perspective, there is no trade for us here. We're not doing it. But it's giving weight to our discussion. If they need to rebalance it at some point in the near future, maybe they come to here. You know? I don't know. But we're not taking that. Uh, and if it drops all the way there, great. That's amazing. Uh, next. So we don't have anything out of whack there on the New Zealand. I think we've established. However, when we come to the dollar, we see a slightly different uh, perspective here. We see a, uh, a balanced dollar. Um, slash slightly strong. We see a bit of an excessively strong uh, dollar yen, which we were uh, kind of expecting. It is back at an old level. Um, uh, would we want to sell this? Well, yes, uh, but it's not a double hedge, so I'm not going to sell that. Um, when we look at the Swiss, uh, the Swiss is a double hedge. We're already in that, and our target is there. So that looks good. Um, so we're expecting balance here. 
euros on the top, pound is in the middle, and the uh, New Zealand is on the bottom. We've got a balanced New Zealand. We see it right away with our eyes. We don't need to draw anything, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, that's okay. <clears throat> Nothing really to say there. Same with the pound. So if pound is back at balance, we may be seeing some sort of pullback here soon. And euro is below balance, which is what we'd be expecting with dollar above balance. So, you know, a bit of profit taking down here, which is what we've done. So, you know, again, it's more reasoning to um, be expecting this dollar pullback um, shortly, probably tomorrow. So I'm thinking, you know, a, a grind up here and then down. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, there's no trade there, really. There's nothing out of the ordinary dollars above balance. So everything's kind of cooperating there. Uh, Aussie is doing its thing and the same with the New Zealand the Kiwi is also a balance so <clears throat> from the 30 minute perspective we have no trades here that's how we do it guys um, let's look at the yen just to finish this off properly So what we got here, guys, we've got uh, a massive yen move, LFX move up, slash yen move down. We'll refer to it always as LFX, though. It's easier that way. Um, going, going, you know, in terms, we'll, we'll just say these are strong, right? The LFX is strong. So... Okay, well this would agree, the CAD would agree with the collective LFX being up. The, the dollar would also agree with that, that's great. So you can see right here, if we added up these numbers, the numbers here will be less than the pound, for example, and the Swiss. So let's just bring one over here. And that's what's giving us the difference in the moving averages, right? See how crazy strong the Swiss is compared to the dollar relative to the moving averages. So it's, it's just time and price. So that is creating that Swiss dollar trade that we're seeing you know so let's put that swiss dollar trade up here uh, here it is from a 30 minute perspective you've got a down move Right, but because these you can see these averages are closer than here, and that's giving us this e equals that. Right, that's all it is. Uh, 
but in order to trade this effectively and and and, and make money at it we have to know where it's it's going back to and we have to double hedge in order to enter and what they've done here nicely tonight is they they have actually given us uh, a new entry which is ideal because that's exactly what we would like to do up here somewhere so we'll um, we can't get our target here from uh, a Swiss yen perspective down here because our um, LFX agrees, right? We used to call it le the level was validated. We haven't even seen this level get validated, but when we go uh, in something, I'm sure we will see some type of interest here in this level so far we don't when we're looking at it let's go over what that usually tells you is it's 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 on another time frame a higher time frame it's operating on which <coughs> we need to know about um, but let's go back here and try to see if we've got anything happening here in the New Zealand yeah, I mean, we do, right? We've got this total validation, bottom and top. So, yeah, we're going to have to come back here, guys. But again, we're not speculating on this. We are only double hedging with the idea in mind that we'll have to rebalance back here uh, in uh, some of them, at least. Given the fact that the New Zealand has told us that there is an interest in that level. Uh, of time and price. Now, has the Aussie told us the same thing here? It, yeah, it has. It's it's given us this area here of of, of work. Um, yeah, it's quite cool. I must admit, when we look at this now. Fake move up local, I thought that was weird. So we've already got something planned out on a smaller time frame. It should be working. I mean, this euro yen is ridiculous, um, and so is the pound. <laughs> yeah, as soon as we start to see fake pound moves up, that's when we're going to be trying to um, <clears throat> we have to think about the pound carefully because this is very dangerous now we're, we're gonna let the pound Swiss take it take take the move up <clears throat> and after that then we're gonna start looking to short the pound yet until then if we miss the entire thing, I don't care. Uh, but that's how you scan for trades, folks. Uh, peace. And